Okay. We're good. It's 4.45. I should be downstairs working out right now, but I'm not. It took me a little second to wake up. This is day three, the 27th, November 27th. We came in, well, I came on the 24th, but and class didn't really officially start till yesterday, but we had a orientation slash human resources day, the 25th. Anyways, this doesn't matter. Um, so we definitely get a lot of work each day. And I realize that right now it's an advantage that we get quote unquote four days off tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we get those days off, okay? I have to catch up because each day that we're learning, I can't, it's like I'm not able to take it in because it's like I have so much reading. And in class, I mean, I'm taking in some things, but there were parts of the day yesterday, I faded in and out. And I know a lot of that had to do with um, what I ate. I messed up. I thought I wanted to, because we get breakfast and dinner here at the hotel, the hotel provides it. And um, I thought, okay, I'm just gonna eat that and fast the middle of the day. Cause also that helps with my budgeting too. I wasn't able to do it. I, I think that I need to throw that a little out the window and just eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And just kind of like throw some things together for now, maybe even today. But yesterday I, I ended up spending like probably 15, 16, 18, tw almost $20 on lunch. There's a food truck. I went back for seconds and then I bought so much candy, you know, and I was all happy and energetic while I was eating and then got back to class and I don't know why he taught what he taught at that time, but it, I don't know, it just, it drained me. It was really hard to concentrate and I know that it had to do with probably more the candy than anything else. And then after that, I just, I had to keep having sugar. I messed up. That's my sugar addiction kicking in. And I have to remember that today. I mean, I'm going to eat. I think that trying to fast right now, especially with this change, my body's like, nah, nah, girl, you gotta, it's a little too much. It's a little too much. So, and I wasn't real disciplined with that before. I mean, I was disciplined with the fasting because it, it's always easier for me to fast when I'm not home. And I thought, oh, I'm going to like really not. I'm going to really do a good job with it. And yeah, no, it's actually like worse. Oh, God. So what I'm going to end up doing is, um, you know, there's some young people here, not all of them for sure, but I really, I'm so grateful not having a roommate because, you know, I have no peer pressure to do stuff or to study in ways I don't want to study. I don't feel left out. I'm so grateful not having a roommate. I didn't know that it was going to be this good. And I mean, that just, I just got kind of lucky, but I think having a roommate too, there's pros to that as well because like having a roommate you really connect with someone and I'm sure that whoever they picked for me I would have connected with because it seems like they picked good people for each other but they could they could put me with somebody because I found out last night that there's a girl that doesn't have a roommate so I was like uh oh you know and we have to be open to like change you know, I'd make it work, obviously, but I couldn't do these videos like this. Okay, at the very latest, I have to go down by five, because I can work out for like 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Oh, now I realize how much I love Orange Theory. Like, I, not that I can't ever work out on my own. I'm, I'm learning, figuring it out. So... I don't know how that crash pad thing is gonna work out. Now that I'm thinking more about it, did not like that idea. I would rather, I don't know. 
and I want to budget too, so my skin looks pretty good. It's a little oily right now. I put that on, I did that on purpose. So yeah, what I'm going to end up doing is today I'm just going to bring some food to eat and I'm going to eat that and um, just a little something. It doesn't have to be much and I'm going to use that time during my lunch to like continue studying and doing my homework um, and, and basically while my day's off, do a lot of homework, like take the time, you know, take however much time, do some work, maybe go for a walk, come back, do some more work. You know, if somebody's like, hey, we're going to go to the movies, I can do that. Come back, do, you know, I'm not going to be crazy. There's a couple other things I'd like to do during my break. I have to stay within 15 minutes. I do plan to go to Walmart. I need some time to like figure everything out to decide on what to buy. But Walmart is walking distance from here. Oh my gosh. And the weather is not, it's going to be mild. It's like a mild winter right now. I really need to start getting to know the girl, lady that's from Dayton that lives here. Because I could be stationed here. I don't even know. I think that's going to be a stressful time trying to figure where I'm going to live. That's... I do want to look up on there's a lot of things that I need I would like to do and I'm so glad it's not like back to back to back classes right now this really is gonna be helpful because I'm gonna catch I'm gonna like actually move forward and like get ahead of the homework so that I can make flashcards and start like studying stuff because I need time to remember rising but again some things stick for some reason and then other things it's like no 